Welcome to our channel Get Cooking Now. I'm sure you've already seen or even tried some of our mouth-watering and irresistible Christmas sweets on our channel. Today, we are bringing you yet another special treat that's a cherished part of Goan culture. It's a symbol of love and celebration, perfect for any festive occasion or simply to satisfy your sweet cravings. Hi, I'm Laddie and today we will share with you a detailed step-by-step -step recipe along with tips and tricks to achieve the perfect taste and consistency. Imagine the aroma of cardamom, the taste of freshly grated coconut and the smooth texture of split chickpeas all coming together to create something truly magical. Our recipe for today is delicious Goan dos. So let's get cooking now. Step 1. Soaking the Chana Dal Take 1 cup or 250 grams of Chana Dal or split Bengal gram or split chickpeas. Washing the Chana Dal Wash the Chana Dal at least 3-4 to four times and discard the water. Soaking the Chana Dal Add 1 litre of fresh water in the bowl containing the Chana Dal and soak the dal overnight or for at least 4 hours. Step 2. Cooking the Chana Dal Once the Chana Dal is soaked for the required time, drain out all the water. Place a pan on medium heat and add the soaked Chana Dal. Add 4 cups or 1 litre of water. Boil the chana dal for at least 40 minutes or until it is fully cooked. Open the pan occasionally and remove any foam that floats on the top. Partially cover the pan and cook. Do not cover the pan fully while cooking, otherwise the liquid will overflow. You can also pressure cook the chana dal if you want. Add half teaspoon of salt. Stir everything nicely. After around 40 minutes, press the dal to check if it is fully cooked. Once you're able to mash the dal easily, your chana dal is cooked. Place a bowl at the bottom to collect the water and place a strainer over it. Strain the chana dal and save the water in the bowl as it will be needed for grinding. We got around half cup of boiled chana dal water after straining. Boiled chana dal is ready. Step 3. Preparing the ingredients Take 2 cups or 250 grams of freshly grated coconut, 2 cups or 500 grams of sugar, 1 teaspoon of green cardamom powder, 1 tablespoon of ghee or clarified butter, quarter teaspoon of salt. Grease a metal plate or a flat surface nicely with ghee or clarified butter and also grease the flat spatula and knife that will be used for setting and cutting the dos. We have used a silicone spatula for this recipe. Step 4. Grinding the coconut in a mixer grinder, add the freshly grated coconut. Avoid adding too much water, otherwise it will increase the cooking time. We added 3 4 cup of water to enable us to grind the coconut to a smooth paste. Ground coconut is ready. Transfer the ground coconut in a wide open heavy bottom pan which will be used for cooking the dos. Step 5. Grinding the Chana Dal Once the boiled Chana Dal has cooled down, add it in a mixer grinder. Avoid adding too much water, otherwise it will increase the cooking time. We added half cup of boiled Chana Dal water. We also added quarter cup of water. Grind it to a smooth paste. Chana Dal paste is ready. 
Now transfer the chana dal paste into the cooking pan. In the same pan also add the sugar. Step 6 preparing the dosa. Place the cooking pan on medium heat. Stir frequently to prevent burning and sticking to the bottom or sides of the pan. For stirring it is preferable to use a wooden spoon with a long handle as the mixture will start to bubble and splatter while cooking. Add quarter teaspoon of salt. Once the sugar has melted completely, check for sweetness and add sugar if required. Stirring continuously will prevent the bubbling and splattering to a great extent. Be careful not to let the hot mixture come in contact with your skin. You can also use a silicone spatula to easily remove the mixture that is stuck to the pan. Also, as the mixture thickens, it will start becoming difficult to stir and using a wooden spoon will be of great help. Once the mixture slightly thickens, reduce the heat to medium low. Add the green cardamom powder. Stirring continuously will prevent burning and sticking to the bottom or sides of the pan. It will also prevent lumps from forming. Stir continuously to ensure no lumps are formed. Once the mixture thickens, add the ghee or clarified butter. You will need to cook it until the mixture leaves the sides of the pan. Cooking time may be around 45 minutes or more depending on the water content in the mixture and the temperature at which you are cooking. Once the mixture leaves the sides of the pan and comes together in the center as a ball, your mixture is ready. Remove the pan from the heat. Dose mixture is ready. Step 7 Setting the dose. Transfer the hot dose mixture immediately to a greased plate or flat surface. We have compiled all our Christmas sweets in one playlist on our YouTube channel. So you can find all our amazing Christmas sweets recipes in one click. Type Christmas sweets in the comment section and we will send you the link for the playlist. We will also provide the link in the description box. We used a grease silicone flat spatula to level the mixture. You can also use a greased rolling pin or a flat steel plate to flatten the mixture or you can use a jackfruit leaf as done traditionally. For further details regarding this or any of our other recipes, Always refer to the description box for accurate and updated information. Keep half inch thickness for the dose. Use a fork to make straight lines on the dose mixture. Let it cool down if it is very hot. While it is warm, using a greased knife, cut it into diamond shapes like I have done or any shape of your preference. Clean and grease the knife between cutting. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Set it aside to cool and let it dry. Once it has dried completely, it will become slightly firm on the outside and soft on the inside. Store it in an airtight container. It is best to refrigerate if storing for a longer time. Delicious melt in your mouth go and dose is ready. If you like this recipe, do share it through WhatsApp and Facebook with your friends and family members who have a sweet tooth. Stay blessed always. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.